July is all about keeping it cool. Our topic this week, homemade popsicles. Let's do this. I'm Danny Lebovitz, a registered dietitian, nutritionist, and fitness enthusiast who loves to eat. Welcome to Danny's Delicious Dish, where we get serious about food, fitness, and living better. Food brings people together, it nourishes our bodies, and influences how we learn, grow, and heal. We're gonna take you from the classroom, to the gym, to the market, to the kitchen. Have you ever wondered what's in your favorite popsicles? Even with a degree in food science, I don't know what's in them. So today, we're gonna make a few easy homemade popsicles with only a few ingredients. The first one we're gonna make is a peach coconut chia pop. So, the first thing we're gonna do is put in about a fourth a cup of chia seeds, three tablespoons of real maple syrup for our sweetness, and then we're gonna add a can of light coconut milk. Now, I'm making this first because I want this to sit on my counter for just a few minutes while I chop up those peaches so that we can give time for those chia seeds to plump up a little bit. Give that a good mix. And then we'll chop up our peaches. Now, I use about three peaches. You can use two to three peaches, but I really like my popsicles to be nice and fruity. The other thing to keep in mind is how big you make your pieces. If you're gonna put it in your popsicles in popsicle molds, you wanna make sure that the peaches are chopped small enough so it's easy to put them right into those popsicle molds. If it has a wide mouth, then it doesn't matter quite as much because it'll be easy to scoop the pieces in. After your peaches are all chopped up, add them to your chia and coconut milk mixture. You're gonna wanna give that a good mix so that it is evenly combined throughout. And then you're just gonna spoon it in into your popsicle molds. Now, if you don't have popsicle molds, that's okay, but you can put them in a paper cup with a, a wooden stick in it. But I picked these up at my local grocery store. They weren't very expensive and they're reusable. So I can use them every time I wanna make a fresh batch of homemade popsicles. Put the top on, put them in the freezer overnight. Now, I actually made some of these popsicles last night. So I'm just gonna grab one out of the freezer let them sit out of the freezer for five to 10 minutes, or if you wanna pull them out right away, have them rinse under a warm water bath for just a moment or two, and then see if you can wiggle them out of their mold. And pull it out. Looks beautiful, I bet it tastes even better. Let's try it. Mm. So good, really refreshing too. All right. Now we're gonna go straight into making our next popsicle. So the next one we're gonna make is a strawberry banana popsicle. It's made with Greek yogurt. So I like to call it the strawberry banana yogurt pop. All you need is about a cup of strawberries. You can make it all strawberries if you wanna add two cups of strawberries. One large banana. With the banana, it makes it a little bit sweeter. One cup of vanilla Greek yogurt. This adds some good protein. This is where most of your um, added sugar comes from. You don't have any added sugar in your fruit, right? And then I'm using a half a cup of regular milk. Now you can use coconut milk, almond milk, rice milk, soy milk, whatever it is that you want. And vanilla would be a nice pair with this. And all you do is you put it on your blender and blend it up until smooth. If you like to have little strawberry chunks or banana chunks in it, uh, then it would be really easy to just let it blend um, till it's mixed nicely. And that's it. All I'm gonna do next is pour it into my popsicle mold. Now I got these ones, these are push-up popsicles. Again, you can use the same kind of popsicle molds that I used for the other popsicle, uh, or you can try using a push-up pop like this, or you can put it in the paper cups with a wooden stick. But these are really nice, and I like them because you just push all of the good popsicle up to the top and eat it. It's delicious. I leave about an inch at the top in case it expands. Again, I got these at my local store, so you can find them at your local store too. Put them in the freezer overnight, and let's try one of these that I made last night too. 
Again, leave these out of the uh, freezer for five to 10 minutes, or you can soak them under a hot water bath for just a moment or two to get that moving. All right, let's try it. Mm. I love those refreshing flavors for the summer. Nice and cold treat on a hot summer day. Both the popsicles we made today are less than 100 calories per serving and one gram of fiber too. Super easy and super delicious. I'm Danny the Dietitian. Till next time, live deliciously.